Hi there, Capricorn, Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. And welcome, of course, to your September 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading. Now, please do know that this is going to be a general reading, so it may or may not necessarily tune in to each and every Capricorns out there. So just keep that in mind as you watch along and go along with the reading. So, um... Now, September is quite a very reflective month, though it can actually trigger a lot of action. But I would say that for many people, especially for those that are in the sign of Capricorn, it is about, you know, really making major decisions that can alter the course of your own life or any major aspects of your life, I would say. So this may be something that has to do with your own career or important relationships, important connections that you have uh, with your life as we speak right now. Now, let's get into the reading, shall we? Now, the first card that you have with me is the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is actually, um, it has a lot to do with stability. It has a lot to do with slow movement. You know, it's like at the point you are at the point of your life or in you want to make a decision yes you want to move forward yes but you want to go to a point wherein you are not gonna regret anything and we see this that you have been contemplating and been thinking about this for quite some time there is really something that you are focusing on here there's something that you know that has been in your mind for maybe quite a few months and maybe you're itching now to make the necessary actions now we also it is being crossed over by the hierophant card another card of first education something that has to do with tradition so maybe you are at the point wherein maybe you want to breach what is the old to the new that kind of energy in place your foundation card of the reading you do have here the high priestess which is you know all about wisdom so th there is really something that you have been either planning or maybe there is something that you have been really thinking heavily and greatly i would say that this could be having to do with you know um some some form of foundation into some form of important relationships in your life the top of the reading we do have the seven of swords now this can be an element of frustration or it can also be an element wherein um you're getting some form of mental frustration maybe of thinking things too much or maybe you are assuming one thing over another and you know some form of problems can be occurring as we speak with that in the recent past you know we are being shown by the emperor card and well emperor card is actually a very positive card in the reading though i would say that the emperor card even though that they are quite neutral they are quite you know um they are they have an authority figure prominence in them they are um a very fiery sign of course um, it has an energy of leadership and all of that, but at the same time, it has an energy of wanting to be, not really wanting, but ending up being indecisive, you know, because you want to play things safe. You want things to be very careful. You're very cautious with certain things. So uh, this leads you to a, a loophole of Neptunian energy, I would say. So some of you um, Capricorn people out there might be, I'm not saying that this is some form of disease that you're suffering on, but I would say you're getting that, you know, um, some form of cycle, some form of patterns in your life are being triggered by Neptune because you end up thinking about certain things, planning about certain things, things to a point wherein you're not really making any any progress as a whole you know you think that you're planning very carefully but there is no such thing as a perfect decision and you know you are going to be ready when you take action and just do them and you know that is really what you need to learn with this because 
waiting and being passive is not going to take you anywhere especially if you are in a situation wherein you have to initiate some form of um some form of positive outcome you need to initiate and do something to change a certain scenarios to change a certain situation your near future card you do have the six of wands and so that gives us a, a some form of hopeful event wherein you know some form of news might come up um something that can bring joy to you a relief of some kind however i still feel that you know a decision still need to happen we do have the knight of cups as your own card of the reading so you might be in a position wherein you need to make some form of decisions you need to offer something um that is also possible but you do also have the existence of the lovers card which is all about choices you know what do you offer to people and uh, what decisions that you are going to be making what is worth it and what is not can be possible as well now we also have the devil card next to this and the overall card of the reading which is a page of swords now here i I'm getting the feeling we're in, you know, something is inevitable that is about to occur in your life at, at this time. And it's really not, it's really going to be pointless to think if you're, you did the right thing or what is the right thing to do right now. This is the time for you to act upon your impulse and just do what you feel like doing without really stressing yourself whether you did the right thing or you didn't. You know that kind of energy in place and and this might result in in positive ways or in negative ways but the idea here is that you are changing something you are triggering something you are you know bringing some form of change to something that is very much stagnant into the situation so you will see some form of positive um, outcome with this despite how stressful things might be and you will you know and at the end of the day it will you will end up telling yourself that you know i should have done this in the first place that kind of energy however i i really believe that you know um there could be obstacles and challenges that you might be facing at this time especially with career i feel that you know business career financial or any material issues can be at the forefront right now and this could be you know what you are focusing on this is the um some form of change needs to happen right there or maybe there are some form of adversities that needs to overcome and they will be triggered or the ch the pathway into destruction or you know negative um outcome right there can be changed based on the decisions that you are about to make based on what you begin and if you will allow your own passions to take hold of you and not dwell too much on your on your logical mindset i feel that you know it can actually lead you to some form of fruitful endeavor we do have here neptune in pisces in your um sixth house when you have the neptune in pisces in your sixth house it's it can be quite difficult and like i said this can lead to some form of procrastination this can lead you to not decide anything you think you keep thinking of the what ifs in life that you end up not doing anything at all so that can be very troublesome and that can lead to some form of problems in its own way so i do suggest that to follow your own passion if you feel like doing something if you feel like offering something telling something to someone you know anything that comes to your mind i feel that you should take note of this and you know list them down and maybe try do them even if you don't have any valid reason to do to do them um technically just do what your heart is telling you and i feel that that can pave the way that can give solutions into your problems especially this month so um yeah this is my reading for you capricorn people out there i do hope that 
one way or another this has given you insight and clarity on how you should be navigating the month or how you can overcome any issues and problems that you come across this month as well and i'll see you guys again next month if you do want a more personal reading that just like this one you can do that by booking a session through my my website in starsbychrissy.com and i shall see you guys again next month